Hi guys, my name is Daniela Stratman. I am a personal trainer for Arena Fitness. I'm also an SGX coach, which means Spartan Certified Group Trainer. I am an avid OCR athlete, obstacle course racer, and I run about two dozen races a year, I'd say, sometimes more. The interesting thing about that is that I just found fitness about five years ago in my life, when I was about 40. So let me back up a little bit. Years ago, I was a housewife, a mom. I loved my job and my responsibilities as those two identities. The problem was I lost my personal identity. I was no longer just Daniela. I didn't know what I was, who I was. I was sort of dealing with depression. Mentally, I didn't feel good. Physically, I certainly didn't feel good. I gained a lot of weight after my pregnancies and I just didn't feel like myself anymore. Then I decided that something needed to change. I decided that I needed something for just me that wasn't about parenting, that wasn't about being a wife, that wasn't about being a friend or a teacher. It was about me. So I turned to fitness and I was introduced to Arena Fitness. I started training every day and it was really my safe place. It really was that one hour a day that I just got to be me, that I did something that I knew was good for me. It wasn't always easy. As a matter of fact, sometimes it was really hard. Sometimes the hardest part was just getting myself out the door and to the gym. After that, it was done in 45 minutes and I was so happy I did it. So I started training regularly. Then I got introduced to obstacle course racing and that really helped me change my life. I felt empowered in this way I never knew possible. I started losing weight, I started getting in shape, the depression slowly started fading away, mentally I started feeling better, physically I started feeling better, and the beautiful result was that I started looking better as well. It all was this wonderful process that came together of a circle, you know, that happened and I felt like this was it. If I could just keep up this routine, I was gonna end up going places I'd never been before. That at 40 years old, I didn't even think you can go. I felt like as a 40 year old woman, my life was sort of conceded to being a wife, to being a mom, that I wasn't allowed to have this identity as an athlete. Now, I mean, come on, I'm 40. That's too old to be an athlete, right? No, wrong. I'm 45 now, I've done an NBC TV show, I've run dozens and dozens of races. As a matter of fact, the older I get, the higher I place in my races. I take first place in competitive spots in my age division sometimes because I work for it, because I feel so good when I'm done with it. My point here is that I know a lot of us sometimes feel like there's nothing we can do, that we just have to accept that this is who we are as people, and even though we absolutely adore and love our positions in life as wives, as mothers, as sisters, as daughters, as employees, that there's more. There's more to that. There can be individuality. We can also have the things we want to be. It doesn't have to just be that. It's not over for us at a certain age. I'm talking about ladies and gentlemen. It's not over. There is the ability to regain that independence as a person and go forward with what you want. I was depressed. I was not feeling good. Now I feel great. It's still a struggle. I still have to be conscious every day of the choices I'm going to make. Fitness is forever. This is a lifestyle change I needed to make and I'm so glad I did it. So now I'm at a place where I'm comfortable training, where I feel good about myself, but it's not over yet. I have so far to go. Stay tuned. In the next video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna talk about where my plans are, what my plans are for the future, where I hope to see myself down the road. Bye.